is going to be funnier than me, Danny Egan. that says I'm an official member of the Piss and Moan About Everything Club. That's something I'm trying to change about myself. I'm trying to become more positive. You know, um, I've decided I'm going to stop complaining all the time. I've said, no more moaning. I'm going all in on the pissing. <laughs> <laughs> I really am trying to improve myself, though, just as a person and also health-wise. I mean, I've been trying to eat better and working out more. I'm cutting sugar, which means I can't have any more Jelly Bellies. You ever heard of Jelly Bellies? They're a jelly bean company. God, I love them. They're absolute geniuses. They're the ones who made the Bean Boozled thing. Now, for the uninitiated, Bean Boozled is this game where you have a bag of jelly beans, where some are the flavors they claim to be, and others are fake ones that taste terrible. So they got flavors like dirty diaper and vomit. Of course, I ate lunch at a public high school every day, so I'm used to those flavors. <laughs> now, the idea of this game, I guess, is to take a jelly bean and try to guess whether or not it's going to be a good one. Now, here's the thing. These guys make candy that tastes terrible. They advertise it as tasting terrible, and they promote underage gambling, because let's be honest, no adult is going to be doing this unless Pinot Grigio is one of the flavors. <laughs> you can still buy it. I mean, the head belly ought to win a Nobel, Beans for, uh, Nobel Peace Prize for this or something. <laughs> you gotta wonder, who's coming up with this stuff? Personally, I think we should start putting helium in all the drinks. I mean, just, just start with a little tiny bit, let the general populace get used to it, and then increase the dosage, rinse and repeat, until eventually we're all starting to sound like Mickey Mouse's extended family. <laughs> <laughs> I also think that we should start putting helium in babies before they're born. I mean, <laughs> just think about it. It'll make the birthing process so much easier. <laughs> Once you go into labor, you just stick your legs up into the air. Baby goes <laughs> of course, I'll have to deal with all the birthing fluids and placenta and all that going flying everywhere. Oh! Maybe that's why they call it a baby shower. <laughs> It'll be just like an anti-gravity giraffe birth. Of course, you might want to do it in a room with a padded ceiling. <laughs> You're gonna put me in a padded room after this one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, years from now, after a baby is born, people will ask the mother, so, what kind was it? Natural, C-section, or helium birth? <laughs> of course, by that point, we'll all be on helium, so it'll sound a bit different. <laughs> Baby is grounding. <laughs> There's Ellie looking over there. Yeah. I'm telling you, helium babies are the way of the future. <laughs> and speaking of the way of the future, apparently there are these cargo ships that have been testing out some new devices that can propel them using wind. Who would have thought of that, huh? <laughs> I mean, honestly, we're coming so far in terms of technology that now we're advancing backwards. The year is 2050. I've become captain of a very own, fresh off the decline, top of the line cruise ship. Yeah, cargo ship, sorry. Top of the line cargo ship. So I exit my cabin, I stride across the deck parking orders. I'm accompanied by the clicking of my peg leg against the deck. It's, it's a giant USB stick plugged into a stump just below my knee. <laughs> After I lost me leg in a pirate in accident, I got a Fitbit with this. <laughs> it tracks where I walk. Like a Fitbit, only better. <laughs> I download all the mileage direct to my brain. <laughs> <laughs> the only port I can even now is USB-C. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the crew don't seem all that happy with my captaincy. If it's silver and gold, you be wanting mates, you best be jumping ship when next we make port. Or we be after the real treasure. 
free streaming services. <laughs> <laughs> we pirates after all, but Netflix and Amazon Prime be the real thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Although, I do have to admit I have been watching a lot of Netflix lately. Mostly Seinfeld. What's the deal with helium? <laughs> <laughs> I love Seinfeld, and I think a lot of that comes from just how relatable it is to me. I mean, for example, the other night I watched the parking garage episode, and it really reminded me of my family. Because first they lose the car, then they lose Jerry, then they find the car, then they lose Kramer, yada, yada, yada. The whole thing's a disaster. I mean, I look at that, it's hard for me not to see my family, you know? <laughs> you can make a nature show about us. You could, honestly. <laughs> Observe the wild Egan as they prepare to attend the family gathering. <laughs> For a specimen of any other tribe, this would be a small task, perhaps even an enjoyable event. But for a member of the Egan clan, this would be no mean feat. Watch as they make a poor attempt to socialize, eat all the food, and then flee the scene as soon as it becomes socially acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Really, it's the only major difference between my family and that Seinfeld episode is the uh, two public urination charges. <laughs> <laughs> although, although actually there have been some pretty wild Christmas parties. <laughs> but hey, I did tell you we were going all in on the pissing. <laughs> Thank you very much. You've had a wonderful ride. Right,